Hi, my name is Heath Saraba. I work at Lincoln Electric Automation in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, this is one of our systems, System 20. It is a uh, FANUC robot uh, IC100 with a turntable. And I, on this side, I'm welding one and a half millimeter plate at 60 inches a minute with a new process uh, generated by Lincoln Electric called Rapid X. And some of the features of Rapid X is you have very fast travel speeds in a neighborhood of 60, 70, 80, sometimes even 90 inches a minute with good parts fit up. Uh, typically, your arc voltage is at a shorter arc length, which enables you to travel faster. It's basically born out of some of our uh, technology that Lincoln has developed in the past. Uh, for instance, the STT process, using the STT switch to control the shorting uh, that happens in the background, and also the rapid arc process, which has been around for a long time, but which led into the technology and the advancement of this rapid X process. Like I said, this process is welding at 60 inches a minute, and if you notice, there's no spatter coming off of the arc. What you do see coming off of there is the tail whip of each droplet being detached. What the RapidX process does is it controls the shorting that happens 220 times a second, just as if you took a straw and dipped it into a Coke and pulled that straw out, it would have a droplet of Coke at the bottom but that droplet isn't falling off the straw. You know, what, what's holding it up there? And what's holding up there is surface tension. So imagine you took that straw and touch it down to the surface of the material. That droplet would wet off the straw onto the base plate. Now, add that into a, wel add that into a welding cycle, that droplet would have anywhere from 400, 300 amps behind it. And if you left that current high, the expulsion that would come off of that would be very large. So here at Lincoln, we can predict before that happens and lower that current down to 50 amps so that that implosion, that explosion of molten material is very small and very fine. Usually it's just a tail whip, the very last part of the weld droplet that you actually see in the welding arc. If you'd like any more information on robotics, robotics welding, or automation systems, please go on lincolnelectric.com.